Welcome to Purchase Reviews. Today I'll show you how to easily print labels from home using the Avery website and a HP 6034 Envy inkjet printer. I'm currently using the HP 6034 Envy inkjet printer to print labels at home for my candles and packaging and find that doing it myself is much cheaper than paying someone else to print them for me. The printer is relatively easy to set up. I'll leave some links on the full ins and outs and features of this printer and the HP website if that's something you're interested in. These printers don't like dust, so make sure to store it back in its box when you're not using it. And just a note about inkjet printers, if you haven't used a printer for a while, the ink cartridges almost always dry out and you won't be able to print anything. So a good way to test this out is with the tissue. If there's no ink left on the tissue after dabbing it, it means the cartridge has dried out. Here's a quick tip on what to do when this happens. Boil some water, pour a few mils into a bowl, place a cartridge into the water for a few minutes, Pat dry with some tissue paper. And if you notice the ink on the tissue, it's good to go. Now back to the program. Type Avery into your search engine. You can also access from your mobile device, but I find that both are just as user friendly. And go to blank labels. Choose your label shape and size. The ones I'm using are the 60mm round labels, 12 per sheet for laser and inkjet printers. Select craft brown paper if that's what you'd like to use. Then choose how many sheets you want and click order. Once you receive your sheets, go back to the Avery site and sign up for free to design and print. Choose product labels. Click the U print button and select the product labels from the drop down menu. Here you can find the same size and same shape labels that you purchased for printing on. To find your labels, you could do a manual search or use a quick search search engine and enter the product code, which you'll find on the blank label sheet. The product code for the labels I'm using is L7106, which are the 60mm Craft Brown round labels we ordered before. Once you've selected your label template, you can either upload your design or choose one from the many free designs Avery has to offer. I'll be selecting the blank label template to upload my image on. Now go to image and select the image you want to import for your labels off your computer. Don't worry if you see the white parts of your image on the label like this. The printer cannot print white, so any text or color on your design will be the color of your label, which in our case will be craft brown. Size up your image and stay within the boundaries of the template. Go to Preview and Print. Click on Print It Yourself. Select Print Range. Click on Custom Selection. This will allow you to isolate the label you want printed to make sure it's centered properly without having to waste a whole page of stickers. Click on Print Now. Select A4 Paper. Click on Print Using the System dialog link down the bottom. Select one sided black and white and A4 paper again. Click on media and quality. 
select Specialty Paper Matte and Quality Best. Load in your labels face down and line the paper up evenly. And then push print. This label is way out of centre, so I'm going to have to line it up properly. Go back and under Custom Selection, select the next label to print on while unchecking the first. Click on Make a Printer Adjustment. This will allow you to make the correct adjustments needed to get your image perfectly centred onto the label. Once done, click Apply and Print. Once my labels are perfect, I like to print out plenty of copies so I won't have to go through the whole process anytime soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's given you confidence to use the Avery website and print your own labels from home. I'll leave some links to where you can find this printer, accessories and the HP Plus and Avery website. Remember to like and subscribe for future reviews and how-to videos. And until next time, thanks for visiting Purchase Reviews and uh, happy printing.